pass by with my little eye something beginning with W. They all three have beards. But her? Have I seen her somewhere before? Zog and his dog. He repeatedly states, I do not know why this dog flocks to me. But yet the answer is obvious. He feeds it in secret. Zog and his dog. No charge, Heinrich. Oh, thank you, Zog. Do you want some tokens? It's a free tea set with ten tokens. Tea set? Yes, give me ten. You know, once, in such a competition, I won half a Rolls Royce. What are you talking about, Heinrich? For one second, I was so elated. Anyway, tell me how you are. Same as ever. Bored out my fucking mind. See this big pen I'd write? I mean, I've been wearing it up my nose half the night. Seven customers and that with this fucking lid up my nose. And there's this dog that won't leave me alone. It scares the customers. Do you know petrol sales in this station have plummeted since I've been working here? Did any of the customers remark on the lid in your nostril? Are you fucking joking? No, this is London, my friend. Everyone pretends like nothing's happened. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Well, Zog, thank you again for the petrol. Good day to you. I was so good about it. Time will tell. It's a rare day that has nothing good in it. Ah, uh, for you, maybe. Try sitting in a box for 12 hours. Cold without them. National Achievement Day all over the country, and especially all over London. People are getting out, getting about, and making a big noise. So come on, put your heads together, get down to it. We can do it, okay. I hope I can catch her alone. Oh no, Heinrich, please don't go into the pub. Togo, have a drink with me. Heinrich, we have known each other ten years, and all the time you haven't told me one thing about your cases. There is a simple reason, Togo. My cases are confidential. <laughs> you know. Change names, change places. <laughs> what would I know? Make something up, entertain me with cop story. <laughs> it's not that interesting, believe me, Turco. I am a detective, but not a very good one. The great detective has three skills. Observation, deduction, and action. I rarely get beyond the first stage. Observation. Observation. I am, for example, on a case of infidelity, I am watching the husband entering his lover's house, and I notice this. A man walking along the road dressed as an undertaker, carrying a vacuum cleaner. 
This is far too interesting. Naturally, I follow the men with the vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. and I neglect my case entirely. I see. This is why you're not rich. Yes. Still, as you know, I like nothing better than to drive around and watch the world. Maybe if I look at it long enough, it will begin to make sense. It makes sense to me. Good. It used to make sense to me when I didn't think about it. When I was a happy young man. Before your wife died. Yes, when my Anna died. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. Hi, Rich. Do you ever think of marrying again? No, Togo. I am married to my work. But, Harry, it is often this. The most simple things in life that are the most pleasurable a wife, family, children. Maybe you can be happy again? Undoubtedly, Togo, but without wishing to be cruel, your children have grown and gone, and your wife has left you. But I hope to start again. All is not lost. Togo, you cannot convince me. As you and I both know, these true and simple pleasures, they are very easy to lose. Go on, dog. Kill the customer. Kill him. Go on, dog. Go for him. Do your duty. Go on, dog. Kill him. Go for him, dog. Kill that bastard. Go on. Kill that fucker. All right, don't do it. Zog is getting progressively stranger. Keep an avuncular eye on him, Uncle Heinrich. How are you, Sue? Tired. You work too hard. Write me something before you leave. Write me your autograph. Have you seen the new owners? Smart. We'll have to dress up to come to the pub now. Oh, is that Sue? Oh, good. It's Tony here from the brewery. I heard you're leaving. Is that right? Are you going to another pub? Where are you going then? <laughs> you don't know. Well, I'd just like to say, Sue, you know, I've never actually met you, but you like talking with me. Well, Sue, good luck and everything. I'll miss you. Ta-ra, Sue. All the best. Remarkable woman. I will miss her terribly. I can't bear it. I don't want this day to end. I love everything about her. Except the way she rings the bell. You have just finished work? Yeah. You are going home to sleep now? No, no. Well, this is National Achievement Day. I heard it on the radio. That's a lot of bollocks, but I wouldn't miss it for the fucking world. Now I'm going to hang out and watch people achieve things. And what do you hope to achieve? Well, I'm setting out to achieve total failure in everything I set out to do. Heinrich. You know when you haven't slept and, like, the next day everything just gets weirder and weirder? And at the end of the day you're going a wee bit mad. Oh, yes. I think I could say I know this. Well, that's what I'm going for today. Are you going on one of your observation trips? Presently. 
Well, you want to take me with you? I prefer to observe alone. Well, have you ever observed with anyone else before? No. You have rumbled me. Well, then. You will block my right hand vision. Well, I'll sit in the back. Then you block my back. All right, Heinrich. No more free petrol. You are a very annoying person. Get in. She should know better. I've never seen that coat before. Look at that. Aha. The tin bath. What do you mean, aha, the tin bath? I've seen it before. 1974, I think. It was in the Café Parma, York Way. A man walked in, carrying a tin bath, and said to the manager, Vi ho portato il vostro bagno. What does that mean? I have brought you your bath. The manager was very happy. You see, this is not the first time I have seen a tin bath carried in this way. Oh, you've gone funny in the head, mate. Yes, I know this. It is the alternative to a routine existence. achievement going on. No. I think you should go home and get some sleep. No. I'm only just beginning to feel weird. I'm gonna go for a walk. Do some thinking. I think you should do some sleeping. See you in the pub later. Say goodbye to Sue. You know, Zog, if there is anything I worship in this life, it is beer and conversation. That pub has always been a haven for me. It's the place where I feel most at peace. I will miss Sue. I will, all will, mate.
Is it possible? You all right, Zogman? Right, Beach. <laughs> yeah, you're coming out this weekend. You're coming dancing. No, I've got to go to work. <laughs> well, you never come out anymore. Why don't you got a rusty knee? Call it what you like. That's that fucking dog again. I don't know why he flocks to me. It's because you feed him, that's why, man. Look, what is your problem, Zod? I mean, all you ever do, right, is you work and you hang out with old people. Hey, old people are all right. See that guy Heinrich? He could see things that you could never see, even if they were pointed out to you. <laughs> it's that job, man. It's doing your head. You want to get yourself a day shift, you know, get yourself a life. A life? Do you believe in evolution? Because I've been thinking about that and it doesn't make sense. Well, it's like plants can make rational decisions. So a cactus, right? It's baldy. It's got no spines. It keeps getting eaten. So it thinks to itself, well, I'm going to grow some spines. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> well, can you grow some spines? Spines? I'll go on, fuck off and grow some spines, eh? So, you got my phone number right. When you're back on the planet, you give us a call. Yeah, fuck off and increase your chances of surviving. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, man. Dog, what are you evolving into? I cannot, for the life of me, remember why she is holding that turnip. Can't believe it, you won a game. <laughs> that was the last game. I have to go see someone. Oh, all right. Bye. Now I must catch her alone. You fancy a drink, Togo? Why not? Togo. What's it like to be old? I'm not old. Well, what's it like to be your age, then? I don't know, Zog. Well, does time move faster or, or slower? Today, it's moved very slowly. You look very tired, Zog. Shouldn't you get some sleep? The London Blitz. I wish I'd seen that in real life. Thank you. Dagmar. Oh, fool. As if it could be her. Unchanged. Thirty years later. But the resemblance is phenomenal.
It's after ten. I've got to go to work. I think so. We should phone your boss and go home to bed. Sue. So, good on you getting out of here, sir. Come back soon. And good luck, sir. Why are you leaving? This pub has been your life for so long. Every day for ten years, we have spent the evening together. If you leave, I don't know. I have a spare room in my house. Come and stay with me for a while. All your life you have a time, only for work. Come and rest. Enjoy the sweeter things. So, don't leave. Thirty years ago, I stood on a street corner. To the left lay Dagmar's house, to the right Anna's. And Dagmar was my girlfriend. But I took the right-hand road and ran off with Anna, and I never saw Dagmar again. Anna I married, and five years later she died. And now, here is the living image of Dagmar before me. How different would my life have been if only I had taken the left-hand road? Who knows? Have I wasted my life?
Tsu. I know your every move. Now you stack up the ashtrays on the bar. Now you wipe it down. Now you set the alarm. Now you turn off the light.